What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully excite, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new level, right? Of happiness and solitude, or solidarity and all these good things that come with relationships. <laughs> So uh, this week, you know, we've got a great topic for you guys. And maybe if you guys have been in a relationship for a while, or even if you're single, you might have asked yourself this question. <laughs> and, you know, couples usually ask themselves this question. They've been together for a long, long time or, you know, as you go on through life. And the question is, <laughs> are we getting old? I actually asked that question the other night. I did. I'm I'm gonna, I'll, t I'll take responsibility for this episode. Yeah, so, I, you know, I mean, it was a good question, right? And of course, when I get asked this question from my wife in bed, you know, I'm like, oh, great. I'm like, what am I not doing here? Because, you know, she's like, oh, we're getting old. What does that mean? He asked me that too. like, you know, what, what do you mean by, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I was like, what do you mean, are we getting old? I'm I mean, like, oh, no, I'm like, you know, I think we're like tired and stuff. <laughs> And remember, we got all the good stuff to keep us going. So just imagine, we have all the good stuff. We must be really tired. I don't think it's just being tired, busy. though. I think it's being busy. You know, busy. I think being busy is what we, you know can wear somebody out. And obviously, you know, having a healthy lifestyle and kind of what we do and what we preach out there, you know, sleep is a part of a healthy oh, lifestyle. Yeah. And it's necessary. It's necessary to function. Yeah. Just, you know, on a minimal level. But right. to, to, to function on an optimal level... You need to have all these things working for you, whether it's nutrition, whether it's your activity level, and it's sleeping, right? So I always, you know, especially lately, I've been taking it as a, a, a put it in as a priority to get at least six hours of sleep, and you should be getting seven to eight hours of sleep. Yeah. And sometimes we only get five hours of sleep, and Tree sometimes on Sundays only gets four or three hours of sleep, so yeah. it's not good, right? But, you know, as going back to the question, are we getting old yet? You know, sometimes this falls in line with couples that have been together for a long, long time. And, you know, as you go on, you know, what you preach out there to be successful is to be consistent, right? Consistently doing the right things over and over to create a good result. Mm -hmm. And whether that's, you know, that's driving your car or that's, you know, doing good at your job or, or whatever it may be, you're doing consistent things or even getting a healthy lifestyle, right? You're making sure you go to the gym every day, you're making sure you're eating every day, you're sleeping properly every day, and you get into that habit, you get into that routine. And you want to stay in that routine most of the time, but get in a routine with your relationship. So that means that both you guys go to work, you guys come home, you guys make dinner, you guys hang out for a little bit, and then you go to bed. It's the exact same routine over and over and over. Yeah. And I guess that can get boring too. That's why, you know, being on a routine, I would say that's the best thing to get to success is being in a consistent, positive routine. But sometimes you got to break that routine up yeah. for your relationship. That means like, listen, <sighs> every day, you know, you go to work, you guys come home, you guys cook dinner, you guys go to bed, right? Well, you know, throw in a date night in there. And that's usually what our Thursdays are. Yeah. Like we're going to the movie theaters and that's we're going to nice. see a new movie. Yeah. You know, we did this all the way up until COVID. The, the pandemic happened. Right. And when that shut down movie theaters for a while or it was limited and all that, no movies were coming out, couldn't go to the movie theaters because you just couldn't, right? There was nothing to see or they weren't allowed. They were shut down or <laughs> whatever it was. So that kind of ended it for us for like, what, one and a half I years? Think, yeah, I remember going to AMC and it was literally like, it was like a movie where there was like little, like little hay things rolling around. And like, there was literally like two, <laughs> Tumbleweeds. there was like two employees, one like by the register and one checking the tickets. And I'm like, wow, this is really weird. Yeah. It's really weird. Nobody, nobody else was there. It was just us at AMC 24. It was great. Yeah. Actually, it was nice. You know, so, I mean, this are, these are different things you need to do, and whether it's during the weekends, too, as well. And same with us, right? So the weekends have consisted of baseball. Right. Weekdays because there's no baseball too. coming out of my too. ears. I keep telling them, uh, I'm like, all oh, these baseballs, you know, it's baseball. So it's kind of hard to get out on our weekends because sometimes we got to get out. For like, you know, we have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to a Sunday game or, or uh, a tournament. So you don't really have time to like go out the night before. Or if you do, you're going to be paying for the next day and then that's going to roll into your week. So you got to start playing around these things, you know, to get out of the routine of being old. And then trying new things too as well. Now, you don't have to go skydiving out of planes or anything. <laughs> But, you know, do something that, you know, revitalizes your youth, right? Whether it's 
you know, playing video games you know, together because there's girls and guys that do that. Or you guys go miniature pup pup golfing or you guys go to a trampoline place or whatever it may be. Something that brings you young to heart. You can go to the state fair and go do some rides, play some games together, eat some cotton candy. This things could happen. Um, you know, there's, there's a wide variety of different things that you can do. You can go back to past hobbies that brought you back to your childhood. Mine's comic books or shoes or whatever it may be. And you guys can kind of share that. Maybe you have the you know, same interest or whatever. Um, you know, these are different things that I would try to do or what I'm going to try to do or what I try to do to make things, you know, not seem like we're old, right? Um, because I don't think we're old at this point, even though I'm going to turn 42 tomorrow or I'm yeah. going to turn Happy 42. Birthday, John. Like Sunday, yeah. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, John. So, uh, at that point, you know, I guess I'm getting older, but I feel young at heart, you know, to a certain degree where I do feel old. Um, compared to some of my employees where they might be 21 years old <laughs> and I hear their birth date and I'm like, oh my God. I He's like, wait a minute. I'm like, He's like, oh, I didn't graduate high school. <laughs> I was like, you were, you were just born. I graduated high school when you were born. I'm like, uh oh, this isn't too good, right? Um, but, you know, everything else wise, I mean, I look around and you should never compare yourselves to the, you know, the people that are surrounding you. So if you say, I look good for 40 years old, you shouldn't do that. Or I look good compared to this person, you shouldn't do that. You should just compare yourself to yourself, right? And do these things to make yourself feel good. And, you know, definitely working out, taking Titan therapies can help you feel younger all the way around. And sometimes to feel younger, we need to feel energy. Um, that is a big one because we were talking about, you know, you might feel tired in bed and you say, hey, listen, um, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm getting old because I'm tired and I go to bed at like 10 or 11 o'clock. Even though right now, even us to this day, we don't go to bed to like midnight probably, right? Yeah, well, I mean, that still is like a reach, you know, because it's like by, by the time baseball practice is over and then we get everything home and dinner and Peter's taking a shower and the dogs and this extra dog and we got all kinds of things going on. You know, by the time we actually like sit down in the bed, it's literally like 10, 30 or 11. And then, yeah. you know, you really can't like shut it down really you know like by the time i get my pajamas i gotta wash my face and do all these things it's like 12 o'clock you yeah. know and you start looking at the time like oh my goodness i gotta get up in like x amount of time so yeah i felt like you know i think i might have asked that question and in, in like maybe um like rep like he was saying like it's very repetitive you know like the day and i feel like you know I, some days it's been like this for a little bit especially with the new dog i feel like we have a mini new baby you know, and John's done such a great job at taking care of this dog while I'm taking care of, you know, 15 other babies at, at work, right? Because I have children. We have 15 other kids and they're called Titan Women Babies. So, you know, I didn't ask for these children, but they're here and this is what I have to do. But regardless, you know, it's tiring, right? It's tiring and the baseball, I mean, where he's on two different teams. So it's just, it's literally just bop, 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 bop. And I just, I don't, I do, I feel like robotic to some degree, mm -hmm. you know? And it was like very repetitive and it's just like boop, 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 boop. And all I'm like, at that point, I feel like he's kind of on the same page. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but you're like, all I want to do is sleep right now. Like, yeah. I don't want to do nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to watch TV. I want to watch 90 Day Fiance. I literally didn't get to see it until three days after I normally watch it because I was working. Like, so much work, so many baseballs and dogs and lots of other things, right? And, of course, I want to spend, time, you know, quality time yeah. with my husband. You know, like, that's very important to me. Like, somewhere in there, we can make the time. We yeah. will make the time. Yeah, of course. You know, it'll never be enough time because, I mean, we're together all the time and I still feel like we're not together like I get to see his face but I don't get to talk to him about like you know fun cool things or you know what's going on in the world today or whatever if I get to talk to him like one sentence I'm like oh that's awesome all right that's me you know so it's yeah and you feel you know start to feel a little tapped out I guess so you do want to keep it young and vibrant and do things that you know it's fun you know throw like, some new things in there yeah. you know I mean you know whether it's a bowling league or maybe a softball league or whatever it is or, that's just being active. Like I said, you can do a million and one things out there together, you know, just cutting out some of the time of the day or certain days of the week where you have an hour, maybe two hours where you guys can spend this time together, enjoy each other and, um, you know, feel like you're doing new things because doing new things will make you feel young, right? Because when we're young, we start, you know, doing things. And when we start doing things, we start doing new things, right? And when I say, I guess I'm confusing you, but... <laughs> What I mean by that is, is that when we're young, we are 
not educated about everything that's around us and what we can do and we start exploring and we're curious about these different things and we start doing these different things because we're curious and at that point we might start liking some of these different things or not liking some of these different things um and that could be with like foods or like you know your different activities your hobbies whatever it is i think it's hard too and you can correct me again if i'm wrong but it's hard too right because we're dealing with me and him are truly the same people right we're two of the same almost the same exact people except we have different personalities as far as a few different levels of like who's nicer who's meaner you know he's more patient i'm less patient etc so you know we're very similar so we have very similar minds right so i feel like we're constantly on the rock like entrepreneurial minds are constantly going right they never shut down so even at like 11 or 12 o'clock at night or you might still be thinking about something else like oh you know what maybe we got this going on it's just it's and you can't stop it like it's just it's, you can't turn it off it's very hard mm -hmm. but i think somewhere in there you're gonna have to like force yourself to do it but you have to be like you have to be aware mm -hmm. of like what's going on mm -hmm. and not just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it because eventually you'll get to a point where you're like how do we get here that's what's gonna happen right so you don't want that to happen. So this is where you stop and you're like, okay, wait, let's not get there and let's make sure we stay here because this is a happy place for us, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, it's a happy place and you want to do that. If you catch yourself feeling like things are being repetitive over and over and over, and listen, some things are. You're going to go to work every day. You got to work. Okay? You're going to sleep every day. You're yeah. going to eat dinner every day. You got to eat. Um, these are things that you need to keep in your schedule, right? You're, they're going to be repetitive. And some of these things you want to be repetitive because you want to be in a positive, healthy lifestyle. And these are things that are part of it. Mm -hmm. But there's places in the day or times in the day where you can cut out some of that chunk and then give it to your partner. Now, there's people out there that don't have kids. So you guys have, you guys have no <laughs> excuse you guys whatsoever. Have no excuse. Dogs can be put in the kennel yeah. or do something. They could be put in a little pen. Yes. You guys can have a little fun. You know, kids, they're running up in the room and yep. all kinds of fun stuff. Yep, yep, Ask yep. about homework. Where's yep. my dinner? Yep. What are you doing? Yep. You don't love me. Well, come, come, come play video games. Yeah. I want to play. I want to be adverse to you in Mortal Kombat and come outside, here. throw a ball. You know, yeah. I mean, you're not getting, it doesn't stop. Yeah. And we only have one kid. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, yeah. that's enough. But. So, you know, but, you know, God bless those parents out there that have multiple bless kids, your three, hearts. four kids. I mean, because they're dealing with a lot, man. Bless. And, you know, it, it does, you know, sometimes, you know, the weight bearing of that is, you it know, it's hard. Hard. It you know, it's, it's hard. hard. And, you know, people get down a little bit about that because that's all they're doing. They feel like, oh, this is all that I, I'm here to do. Well, it's not I mean, at that point, but you got to have the responsibilities and you want to make sure your kids grow up good too as well. So, you know, that's something you're putting in place and that's dedication and sacrifice too as well. So that's going to come along with life if you want to be successful and you want to have a great family. Um, you're going to have to do that. There's some people out there that they just dis disregard their kids. And they go out yeah. and do these things no matter what. They don't care what their kid's doing, who they're seeing, what they're eating, and just care about, oh, they're alive, I'm okay. But, you know, at that point, I'm just going to go do what I want. Mm -hmm. I see multiple girls do this, guys do this, um, couples do this too as well. Or uh, so-and-so will take care of them, I'm out of here. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's just, you know, that, that's, you can't do that either. So me and John are trying to find this happy, I mean, because we're, we're, you know, we're, we're perfectionists. And we're very loving individuals. Yeah. Like, so we love everybody. Not, I'm just kidding. Not really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I take that back. I don't love everybody. But the people I do love, I love hard. Yeah. I, yeah. Let's put it that way, right? Yeah. And it's a lot of love to give. It's yeah. constant love and care and, you know, loyalty. And, and it's it's constant. It, it, it's, it's a lot of work, you know, especially when you're, you. I mean, ultimately, we're providing for 15 other people, yeah. right? Making sure they're okay, too. So it's tough but like i said it's important to just recognize it recognize right. it when you do recognize it do something about it right. carve it out and make sure that you are doing something about it so for instance i'll give you an example tomorrow we are going to the hard rock for a couple's massage and it's just me and john and it's for his birthday you know i want to take him and we go get a couple's massage just me and him just chill do nothing but just chill right and then afterwards we have like a little they have like a little spa area with a jacuzzi and stuff like that and it, it's co-ed so you can go out there and just hang out by the jacuzzi and just chill and we need a moment to just be like ah that's what i need and i know he needs it too so that's why i set it up but you see i was cognizant about that 
Always thinking, always planning. Make sure you're prepared so you're never feeling like you're getting old. I don't want to be old. Guys, I want to die young and beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys are tuning to Cuba's Corner every Sunday here on ABC at 11 a.m. If you don't get to watch it live, you can always DVR it. And if you don't get to do that either, just make sure you guys go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and you can subscribe and hit the all notification bell Ding. so you can get all these great shows and a lot, lot more cool content from me, Sharice, and the whole Titan crew. So guys, that's another Cupid's Corner. From us to you, we love you guys. I'm John. I'm Cherise. And we'll be back next Sunday with another Cupid's Corner at 11 a.m. here on ABC. I'll see you then.